Hi Dollar Divas, welcome back to my channel. So today is a super exciting video. I have done a Shop Miss A haul. I bought enough items for a full face. It has been a good long while. I've only ever done one of these. It was years ago on my channel. Um, and it's taken me this long to do another one. Um, but yeah, so today I'm gonna show you all of the stuff that I bought and then definitely stay tuned for the full face of me using these products. So here is my package. I'm excited, I have not opened it up yet. I haven't even taken a peek. Um, it's packaged up really well, you guys. Like, it's crazy. Anywho, so I know a lot of you have been waiting for this um, video or waiting for me to buy stuff so I could do a full face. Um, it's finally getting closer. Um, so if you are a returning Dollar Diva, thank you so much for coming back for another video. You know I appreciate you so much. And if you're new to my channel, my name is Jessica and I love to do a lot of bargain makeup content. So basically, I like to do all the same fun videos that other makeup channels like to do, but I like to keep it in that bargain price point. So of course, Shop Miss A, we do lots of Dollar Tree around here. Um, I've done Sheen, and then sometimes I'll even venture out and just do other dollar stores and keep it in that $5 and under price point. So if that sounds like your thing, something that you need, something that you want, I do hope you'll become part of our Dollar Diva family here on YouTube and join the party with us. And I'm actually wearing a full face of like new Dollar Tree makeup right now. Um, I'll definitely have that link down below as well as some other related content. That way you can see my thoughts on what my makeup is today. I do have some thoughts. Um, but anyways, without any further chit chat, let's just go ahead and get into today's video because I'm very excited to see what I have in here. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to open it up. Um, I don't even remember some of what I bought. I love the color pink of their packaging. Um, anyways. Um, yeah, and the first time, I think it was during COVID, it took like a month to get everything. Um, this time it took like a week and a half. So look at the packaging of that. That is like, that is top notch. Ulta went through a really long time where they like, people were complaining about their um, their packaging, the way they would package things. And I think they've taken note because the last time I ordered something from Ulta that it was packaged up really well. All right, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna dig in. I mean, where do you start, you know? So I tried to buy different things than I purchased the last time and I tried to keep it like within that dollar, dollar fifty-five price point. So I got this style here. I got the AOA Studio 3D Faux Mink Fluttery and Dimensional Lashes. These are in the style Willow. And yeah, I remember really liking their lashes last time. Um, so yeah, super excited to try those. And let's see what else is in here. So this is the A2O Lab. This is the inked liquid eyeliner. Ooh, the packaging is pretty. Apparently it gives you a fine line and I got dark brown because I've got so much black, like liquid liner, that I decided to go with dark brown. So it says it's long wearing and waterproof. So we are gonna swatch everything we can swatch. That packaging is gorgeous. There's the tip. That is pigmented and it was just smooth and easy to draw like a straight line. Super excited to try that. And then I also purchased the Dual Brow Definer. So it's got apparently a slim side and a thick side. I got medium brown. So it does, it has a thicker side with this, like the shape, the tapered shape. I love, like, I love a lot of stuff by AOA because they do make it like this really pretty pink. Then it's got a thin side. That is so cool. Like I said, I got medium brown. Excited to try that. And a little package of stuff right here. So for foundation, I got the AOA Studio Buildable Satin Foundation. I got the shade Natural Beige. And yeah, it's, it comes in like a dropper. It's like a dropper type of situation. That is such a nice little like package. I think the shade's gonna be kind of okay. It's so hard to tell online, but you know, we always make it work. I think that's gonna be kind of okay. So there's the shade. Might be a little bit yellow, but you know us. We always make it work around here. Apparently I accidentally ordered two of these. Um, <laughs> so uh, eh, that's okay. Maybe I'll really love it. So I got the AOA Wonder Matte Lipstick. This is in the shade saffron. These little packages here, like the, I love the shrink wrapping on them, but especially with nails, it's like impossible like to get into. That is really a nice, like I love like the matte lid. Big container. Ooh, that's a pretty color. Maybe a slight smell. 
I really kind of struggled and it's kind of like a nude shade. I was kind of wanting like a tangerine color because I'm looking for like a, a better one than the one I have by L'Oreal that since I use my beauty benefits, I can't find like the ones I like anymore. But um, that was kind of the best shade that they had. Of course, sometimes, problem with Shop Miss A is like a lot of their stuff is like out of stock sometimes that you want. Um, but that was the best shade, so I'm, I'm excited to try that shade. I think it's going to be really nice. And then I had a different concealer last time I did my Shop Miss A haul. And so, I, of course, like I said, I wanted to try to get different things. So I got the AOA Locked Creamy Concealer. And I got, which shade did I get? I got light warm and that looks really 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 light um i love the packaging oh yeah no that's actually not as bad as i thought i think that's going to be perfectly fine for like under my eyes and stuff i think the last time i had got um the papa concealer in the tube and i really liked it i used it all up then i wanted to try an eyeshadow primer because i don't really have other than my my la colors one that i can never find i don't really have one that like i can recommend that's like super affordable so i got the aoa studio natural shadow stay eyeshadow primer so excited to try that of course it comes on like a doe foot and yeah super excited to try that so i wanted to get something kind of fun as well um, so I'm always a sucker for a liquid eyeshadow, as you know. So I got the AOA Studio Liquid Shadow. I guess this is the shade AOI, I guess. So here it is. I got like this really pretty like baby blue. Packaging is really cool. Of course, let's swatch it. Ooh, that is gorgeous. Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. Very like it, it was it went on very nice like not streaky or anything like that. I'm super excited to try that. So I have two of their eyeshadow kits from a few years ago, but I wanted to buy something new, of course. So this looks like one of those like Elf bite size palettes, and I really liked this color story. This is called Sunday Afternoon, and um, I just thought the colors were so pretty, and I thought it would go really nice with the blue liquid shadow. So of course we're gonna swatch. They seem really creamy. There we go. I think we can get a complete look out of this. That shimmer is really beautiful. The two light colors are a little kind of powdery looking, but they are creamy. Um, that blue looks really nice. So we will see. It's going to obviously be a blue look. <laughs> and then I got the AOA Perfect Finishing Pressed Powder. Last time I got the Banana Setting Powder and really, really loved it. In fact, I found it very comparable to one that I got like in an Ipsy glam bag or something like that. That was, um, it was a much more expensive brand. I can't remember the, the brand it was. But when I looked up, it was like a 20 something dollar banana powder. And then of course the AOA one was like a dollar, a dollar 55. And I really liked it. So um, I have high hopes for this. So this is the AOA Studio Perfect Finishing Pressed Powder. Of course, looks like Makeup Forever or even like NYX, which is gotten a little bit pricey. So it says on the back, it's anti-shine blurred finish. It looks like a nice, like mattifying powder. So super excited to try that. I can always use a good powder, especially in my line of work as well. They never go to waste. Then I got this blush and highlighter duo. This is the Fly With Me Duo blush and highlighter. There it is, super cute. And this is in the shade Evolve. So you've got your blush and your highlighter. They had a couple different shades. I think they had maybe three or four really pretty pretty design so it's got your highlighter and then it's got your blush the blush is shimmery but you know i don't mind a shimmery blush so we'll i like the color the color is really interesting really probably would be nicer on me today but i'm super excited to try that let's see one last item here it must be a bronzer it sure is so i got the malibu glitz which is you know those little palettes that i found at the dollar tree earlier this year. This is the same brand. So I got the Sunkissed Trio Bronzer. This is in the shade Coco. So of course the idea is that you swirl, and I think it's kind of matte. It's got a little bit of a shimmer thing in the middle. I think the idea is that you kind of, you know, blend them together. I guess you could even skip the middle part because I think that might actually be a little too light. So kind of by mixing them all, I got that shade right there. By just doing the outer two, I got that shade there. So you can kind of customize it to what you need or like, which is always handy. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, show me you did by hitting the like button. Definitely stay tuned for the try on video. Super excited to try everything. Um, like I said, I'll have related content linked down below that we can binge watch more content like this. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.